This video summarizes our paper titled High Yield Expression in Pickia Pastoris of Human Neutrophil Elastase Fused to Cytochrome B5. It was published in Protein Expression and Purification the 21st of February 2023. The authors are Smith, Kruppa, and Johnson at East Tennessee State University, Van Heften, Chin, Lee, Peek, and Professor Jonathan Harris at Queensland University of Technology in Queensland, Australia. And I'm David Johnson, the corresponding author. Neutrophils are very important cells within the body, and they have within them azurophilic granules, and those granules are lo loaded with an enzyme called elastase. And that elastase plays very important roles in the function of neutrophils and in other, and in sometimes in pathological situations. Bacteria are killed by neutrophils, and so the bacteria phagocytize the, ba the bacteria, they actually sort of eat it, and then they kill it by uh, breaking down its cell membrane with uh, lysozyme, and then they attack it with elastase and oxidants. Uh, one of them is hypochlorite, which is essentially bleach, and hydrogen peroxide and superoxide. Then, so the dead bacterium then gets digested and secre secreted out of the, out of the cell. Neutrophils are the most abundant human white blood cell. They're short-lived and highly mobile at the site of inflammation in minutes. They're major components of green pus and sputum. Uh, so when you have a cold and you're coughing up green material, you probably have a bacterial infection. A attack and, and engulf and kill and digest invading bacteria. They're our first line of defense, sometimes referred to as innate immunity. Neutrophil elastase is a major serine protease, uh, and being a serine protease, it has a serine amino acid that's critical to its active site and, and function, and it aids in killing and dis digesting bacteria. Neutrophils also kill bacteria by making, as I said, superoxide anions, hydrogen peroxide, and hypochlorite bleach, and the enzyme myeloperoxidase is important in making those oxidants. Elastase damages tissues such as long alveoli and can result in emphysema and even and damage to the joint and arthritis. Elastase is released when neutrophils die. Normally, alpha-1 antitrypsin, a major blood plasma protein made by the liver, inhibits elastase. However, there are genetic deficiencies of alpha-1 antitrypsin that result in predisposing people to emphysema, especially if they also smoke cigarettes. Neutrophil oxidants at sites of inflammation oxidize alpha-1 antitrypsin, slowing its inhibition of elastase. So it has a critical methionine in its active site and that can, in its inhibitory site, and it can be inactivated by oxidation. Recombinant human neutrophil elastase avoids working with human blood and tissues, so it's a, it makes it easier to study this enzyme. Pure neutrophil elastase recombinant aids the study of this enzyme, and pure RHNE is needed to test anti-inflammatory drugs for elastase inhibition. Elastase kills many bacteria and yeast. However, we, we expressed it in Pichia pastoris, a yeast that secretes recombinant proteins into the culture media. And we did this by making a fusion protein. We put a 6-his tag that allowed us to aid it in purification, and a cytochrome B5, which gives us a red color, along with an activation sequence called a D5K, that's 5-aspartic acids followed by a lysine, that gets cleaved by enteropeptidase. And that's right before the full length of the recombinant human neutrophil elastase protein gene. Uh, and so this product was not active, so it can't damage the pickia. Potential asparagine glycosylation sites were mutated to glutamine, preventing hyperglycosylation, which pickia tends to do. Elastase is positively charged, making it difficult to express. 
However, adding the cytochrome B5 negative amino acids adjusted the charge to near neutral. So that uh, improved the situation considerably, making it a, a much easier to express. And I think that had a played a major role in its exp being able to express it. DNA coding for this whole construct was codon optimized for expression in Picia. Several prior attempts to express RHN and E were unsuccessful unsuccessful. Elliot, this is a major part of Elliot Smith's dissertation, and he uh, had made several attempts at this without success until now. Then here is the whole construct, and you can see we have a full length. We also have the C-terminal extension down here that's not present in the native neutrophil elastase. Native neutrophil elastase ends at the glutamine here. So it was all put under the control of alpha mating factor, and alpha mating factor uh, in the Golgi has a KEX2 protease that cleaves off that part and leaves the, the total construct, which then gets activated by the enteropeptidase at that, this point. So activation, purification, and analysis of RHNE. Cytochrome B5 is red and helped in the detection of the fusion protein and the purification steps. Enteropeptidase cleavage at D5K activated the recombinant neutrophil elastase. And active RHNE was separated from the fusion protein by cation exchange chromatography. Electrophoresis confirmed that the active recombinant neutrophil elastase pur purity and amino acid sequence was confirmed by mass spectral analysis. The active uh, recombinant enzyme yield was 0 0.4 milligrams per liter of median sh shaker flask, would have probably been much higher in a fermenter, identical to native neutrophil elastase and kinetic, kinetic activity studies, so it was fully active even without the glycosylation and with a C-terminal extension. Mutations in the Elaine gene that codes for, for neutrophil, human neutrophil elastase result in neutropenias. Neutropenias ha are low levels of neutrophils in the blood. And HNE is very important for neutrophil function. Neutropenia patients have recurring infections and can die from those infections because they can't fight off uh, bacteria very well. So here's the final total construct. We put it into PICIA, and then we get secretion to get the fusion protein, then activation, and we get active neutrophil elastase. So here's a spinning model of the neutrophil elastase showing its active sites there. Do all the good you can in all the ways you can in all the places you can for all the people you can as long as you can. This is David Johnson, East Tennessee State University. Thank you.